you strong. Ooh. Greetings and introductions. Hi Leah, how are you? Hi Alex, I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? I'm good too, thanks for asking. That's great to hear. By the way, have we met before? Yes, we're friends from school. Oh, that's right. I remember now. It's been a while since we last saw each other. Yes, it has. How have you been? I've been good, just busy with work. I understand. What do you do for a living? I work as a teacher. What about you? I'm a software engineer. That sounds interesting. How do you like it? I really enjoy it. It's challenging but rewarding. That's great to hear. So, what have you been up to lately? I've been working on a new project at work. Sounds exciting. What's the project about? It's about developing a mobile app. That's cool. I'd love to hear more about it sometime. Sure, I'd be happy to share more details. Thanks, I appreciate it. No problem. So, what are your hobbies? I enjoy reading, painting, and playing tennis. Those are great hobbies. I like playing soccer. That's awesome. We should play sometime. Definitely, it would be fun. So, do you have any other friends from our school? Yes, I still keep in touch with a few of them. That's nice. It's always good to stay connected. I agree. Friendships are important. Absolutely. Anyway, it was nice catching up with you. Likewise. Let's not wait too long before meeting again. Sounds like a plan. Take care, Alex. You too, Leah. Have a great day. Going shopping. Hey Leah, do you want to go shopping today? Sure, what do you need to buy? I need to buy some groceries like milk, bread, and fruits. That sounds good. Let's also check out the new clothing store in the mall. Great idea. I could use some new shirts. Do you prefer shopping in the morning or in the afternoon? I prefer going in the afternoon, around 3 p.m. What about you? That works for me too. Let's meet at the mall entrance. Okay, see you at 3 p.m. then. I hope the mall isn't too crowded today. Yeah, hopefully we won't have to wait in long lines. We can make a list of things we need to buy to make it easier. Good thinking. I'll write it down before we leave. Let's also bring some reusable bags for our purchases. Definitely, it's important to be eco-friendly. I heard there's a sale going on at the electronics store. Oh, maybe I can find a good deal on a new phone. We should check that out after getting groceries and clothes. Agreed. It will be a productive shopping trip. By the way, have you tried the new coffee shop near the mall? No, I haven't. Is it any good? I heard their coffee is amazing. We can grab a cup while shopping. That sounds like a plan. I'll bring some cash in case they don't accept cards. Good idea. I'll do the same, just in case. It's always useful to have some cash on hand. I'm looking forward to exploring the new clothing store. Me too. It's always fun to discover new fashion trends. Let's take our time and try on different outfits. Definitely. We want to make sure we get the perfect ones. Do you have any specific preferences or colors in mind? I'm open to anything, as long as it looks good on me. We can ask for the staff's advice if we're unsure. That's a good plan. 
They can help us with styling tips. I'm excited for our shopping spree. Me too. It's going to be a fun-filled day. All right, see you soon at the mall entrance. Giving and following instructions. Can you please pass me the pencil? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Can you show me how to use this calculator? Of course, let me explain it to you. I didn't understand. Can you repeat? No problem, I'll go over the steps again. Can you lend me your notebook? Sorry, I need it for class. How about I give you some extra paper instead? That works too. Thanks. You're welcome. Is there anything else you need help with? Actually, yes. Can you show me how to tie my shoelaces? Sure, I'll demonstrate and you can follow along. I'm having trouble with this math problem. Can you guide me? Certainly, let's solve it together step by step. That's much clearer now, thanks. Glad I could help. What else can I assist you with? I need directions to the library. Can you tell me the way? Of course, follow this path and you'll find it on your right. I got lost. Can you come and find me? Don't worry, I'll come to where you are. Can you describe your surroundings? I see a big red building and a park with a fountain. I found you. Let's find the way together now. I need to buy groceries. Can you recommend a supermarket? Sure, there's one just around the corner. I can take you there. That would be very helpful, thanks. No problem, happy to assist. What else can I do for you? I want to learn how to cook. Can you give me a simple recipe? Definitely, let's start with an easy pasta dish. Here's what you'll need. Can you write down the ingredients for me? Sure, let me write it down for you. Thank you, Leah. You're the best. You're welcome, Alex. I'm always here to help you out. I need to organize my schedule. Can you help me with that? Of course, let's sit down and plan it together. Can you please remind me to study for the test tomorrow? Sure, I'll make sure to remind you. What time do you want me to remind you? Around 8 p.m. would be great. Thanks. Noted. I'll send you a reminder at 8 p.m. I need to fix my bike. Can you assist me with that? Certainly, let's take a look and see what needs to be repaired. Can you hand me the screwdriver, please? Here you go. Let me know if you need any other tools. Thank you, Leah. You're a lifesaver. Don't mention it, Alex. I'm happy to be of help. I'm struggling to understand this reading passage. Can you explain it? Absolutely, let's go through it together and I'll clarify any confusing parts. I appreciate your help, Leah. You make learning easier. You're welcome, Alex. I'm here to support your learning journey. Gardening Do you have any plants in your garden? Yes, I have a few flowers and some vegetables. That's great. Which flowers do you have? I have roses, daisies, and tulips. They are all so pretty. I agree, flowers add so much beauty to a garden. What about vegetables? I have tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers. It's fun to grow and eat them. I'll have to try growing some vegetables too. Any tips for a beginner like me? Sure. Start with easy plants like lettuce and radishes. They grow quickly. Thanks for the advice. How often do you water your plants? It depends on the weather. Usually, I water them every two days. 
I'll make sure to keep a watering schedule. Do you use any fertilizers? Yes, I use organic fertilizers to keep my plants healthy. I'll look into getting some organic fertilizers. How about pests? Do you have any issues with them? Sometimes, I have to deal with snails and aphids. I use natural remedies to control them. Interesting. What are some natural remedies you use? I use a mixture of dish soap and water to get rid of aphids and crushed eggshells for snails. I'll keep those remedies in mind. Do you prune your plants regularly? Yes, pruning helps plants grow stronger and look better. It's important to remove dead branches. I'll learn how to prune properly. Are there any plants that are difficult to grow? Some plants require specific conditions, like orchids or roses. They need more care. I'll stick to easier plants for now then. What are the benefits of gardening for you? Gardening helps me relax and connect with nature. It's also rewarding to see plants thrive. I can see why you enjoy it. Are there any other hobbies you have besides gardening? I also enjoy painting and cooking. What about you? I like playing guitar and reading. It's always nice to have diverse hobbies. Definitely. Hobbies make life more interesting. Do you have any other questions about gardening? Not at the moment, but I'll probably have more in the future. Thanks for all your help, Leah. You're welcome, Alex. Feel free to ask anytime. Happy gardening! Thank you, I appreciate it. Take care. You too, have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Games Hey Leah. Do you like playing games? Yes, I love playing games. What about you, Alex? I enjoy playing games too. What's your favorite game? I really like playing chess. It challenges my mind. That's cool. I prefer playing video games. They are so much fun. I understand. Video games can be really entertaining. Have you ever played any strategy games? Yes, I have tried playing some strategy games. They require a lot of thinking. I agree. It's important to strategize and plan ahead in those games. Do you have any recommendations for strategy games? I would suggest trying out games like Age of Empires or Civilization. Thanks for the recommendations. I'll check them out. You're welcome. Let me know how you like them. Have you ever played any sports games? Yes, I have played a few sports games. They can be quite exciting. Which sports games do you enjoy the most? I really like playing FIFA. It's a soccer game and I love soccer. That sounds fun. Soccer is a popular sport around the world. Definitely. It's a great way to experience the game digitally. Do you enjoy playing racing games? Yes, racing games are thrilling. The feeling of speed is amazing. What's your favorite racing game? I enjoy playing Need for Speed. It has great graphics and fast cars. I've heard of that game before. It seems popular. It definitely is. Racing games always get my adrenaline pumping. Do you have any other favorite types of games? I also enjoy playing puzzle games. They are great for exercising the brain. That's true. Puzzle games can be challenging yet rewarding. Have you ever tried playing Sudoku or crossword puzzles? Yes, I have played both of those. They really make you think. I find them to be a great way to relax and keep my mind sharp. I agree. It's important to find games that are both fun and beneficial. Exactly. Games can be a wonderful source of entertainment and growth. 
I'm glad we share a love for games, Alex. They bring people together. I couldn't agree more, Leah. Gaming is a fantastic way to connect with others. Thanks for chatting about games, Alex. It was really enjoyable. You're welcome, Leah. I had a great time discussing games with you. Let's play some games together soon. Definitely. I look forward to it. We'll have a blast. Future Technologies Have you heard about Future Technologies? Yes, I've been reading a lot about them lately. What interests you the most? I find artificial intelligence fascinating. I agree, AI has the potential to revolutionize many industries. Do you think robots will replace human jobs in the future? It's possible, but it will also create new job opportunities. That's true. How about virtual reality? VR is already being used in gaming and entertainment. I think it will also have applications in education and training. Definitely, it can provide immersive learning experiences. What about self-driving cars? They are becoming more advanced and could make transportation safer. I'm a bit skeptical about them. What if something goes wrong? Safety is a priority, and they are constantly improving the technology. That's reassuring. How about renewable energy? It's crucial for a sustainable future. Solar and wind power seem to be the most promising. Countries around the world are investing heavily in clean energy. That's great news. What are your thoughts on biotechnology? It has the potential to revolutionize medicine and improve lives. But ethical concerns do arise in this field. Yes, it's important to strike a balance between progress and ethics. Exactly. What about 3D printing? It's already being used to create prototypes and even organs. I can't believe we can print organs now. It's amazing! Indeed, it has the potential to save many lives. What other future technologies are you excited about? Space exploration and colonization seem promising. Imagine humans living on Mars one day. It would be a giant leap for humanity. I hope I live long enough to witness all these advancements. The future is definitely going to be an exciting place to live in. I couldn't agree more. Let's stay curious and embrace new technologies. Friends Hey Leah. How are you today? Hi Alex. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm good too. Just finished reading a really interesting book. Oh, that sounds intriguing. What's the book about? It's a mystery novel with a surprising twist at the end. I love mystery novels. Can you recommend it to me? Absolutely. I think you'll enjoy it. I'll lend it to you next time we meet. That's so kind of you, Alex. Thank you. No problem at all, Leah. Friends help each other out, right? Definitely, Alex. Friends are there for support and kindness. By the way, have you watched the latest episode of our favorite TV show? Not yet, I've been really busy. Is it good? It's amazing. So many unexpected plot twists. I can't wait to watch it then. We should plan a movie night soon. That's a great idea. Popcorn and our favorite show, it doesn't get any better. I totally agree. How about this weekend? Is it convenient for you? Unfortunately, I have a prior commitment this weekend. Can we do it next week? Sure. No problem. Just let me know when you're available. Will do, Leah. I promise we'll have that movie night soon. Looking forward to it, Alex. 
It'll be so much fun. Hey Leah, do you have any plans for the upcoming holiday? Not yet, I'm still undecided. Why? Any suggestions? I was thinking we could plan a little trip together. What do you say? That sounds fantastic. I've been wanting to explore new places. Great. Let's start researching and find the perfect destination. I'm excited already. It'll be a memorable adventure with my best friend. Absolutely, Leah. Our friendship makes everything better. Hey Alex, do you remember that hilarious incident from last year? Oh yes, how could I forget? We laughed so hard that day. It still brings a smile to my face whenever I think about it. Good times, Leah. We've shared many unforgettable moments together. Indeed, Alex. I'm grateful to have you as my friend. The feeling is mutual, Leah. Friends like you are hard to find. Thanks, Alex. Let's continue creating more amazing memories together. Absolutely, Leah. Here's to a lifetime of friendship and happiness. Cheers to that, Alex. Friends forever. Food Hey Leah, do you like food? Yes, I love trying new dishes. How about you? I enjoy eating different types of food too. What's your favorite cuisine? Hmm, it's hard to choose just one, but I really enjoy Italian food. What about you? I'm a fan of Mexican cuisine. Tacos and enchiladas are delicious. Oh, I love Mexican food too. The flavors are so vibrant. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I like sushi, especially the ones with salmon and avocado. Those are great choices. What's your opinion on spicy food? I like a little bit of spice, but not too much. How about you? I enjoy spicy food, but I prefer when it's not too overwhelming. Do you have any dietary restrictions? No, I don't have any dietary restrictions. How about you, Leah? I don't have any either, but I try to eat healthy most of the time. Do you have a sweet tooth? Definitely. I love desserts. My favorite is chocolate cake. What's your favorite sweet treat? I'm a fan of ice cream, especially vanilla with caramel sauce. It's so creamy and delicious. That sounds amazing. Are there any foods that you don't like? Hmm, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms. How about you, Alex? I'm not a fan of olives. They have a strong taste that I don't enjoy. What's your go-to comfort food? I love a good bowl of mac and cheese. It always makes me feel cozy. How about you? I find comfort in a warm bowl of soup, especially chicken noodle soup. It's soothing. What's the weirdest food you've ever tried? I once tried a fried scorpion when I was traveling. It was definitely an interesting experience. How about you? The weirdest thing I've tried is probably deep-fried crickets. They were surprisingly crunchy. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I do. I find it relaxing and fun to experiment in the kitchen. How about you, Alex? I'm not much of a cook, but I like helping out in the kitchen and trying new recipes. Do you have a favorite cooking ingredient? I love using garlic in my dishes. It adds so much flavor. How about you? I enjoy cooking with fresh herbs, like basil and cilantro. They have such a nice scent and taste. Have you ever eaten a dish from another culture? Yes, I've tried Korean barbecue before. It was delicious and interactive. How about you, Alex? I've had Indian curry before. The flavors were rich and complex. 
Do you have any favorite food blogs or cooking shows? I follow a couple of food bloggers on Instagram, but I don't watch cooking shows. What about you? I enjoy watching cooking shows like MasterChef. It's fascinating to see the contestants create amazing dishes. Is there a food you've always wanted to try but haven't yet? I've always wanted to try authentic Thai cuisine. I've heard it's really flavorful. How about you, Alex? I've always wanted to try traditional Japanese sushi made by a sushi master. It must be an amazing experience. Do you have any favorite local restaurants? Yes, there's a cozy little Italian restaurant near my place that I absolutely love. What about you, Alex? There's this Mexican street food truck that I often visit. Their tacos are out of this world. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to explore new foods? I would say start by trying small portions of different dishes and be open-minded. You never know what you might discover. How about you, Alex? I agree with you, Leah. Be adventurous and willing to step out of your comfort zone. You might find some hidden culinary gems. Food and drinks What is your favorite food? I love pizza. It's so delicious. I agree, pizza is amazing. Do you like any other types of food? Yes, I also enjoy eating sushi. Have you tried it before? No, I haven't, but I'd like to try sushi someday. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is lemonade. It's refreshing and perfect for hot days. What about you? I enjoy drinking coffee. The smell and taste are both wonderful. Do you like any other drinks? I like drinking smoothies, especially strawberry ones. They're healthy and tasty. What about you? I also like smoothies, but my favorite is banana smoothies. They're creamy and delicious. Have you ever cooked any food yourself? Yes, I enjoy cooking. I often make pasta dishes like spaghetti. What about you, Alex? I'm not much of a cook, but I can make a simple omelette. Do you have any favorite desserts? Yes, I love chocolate cake. It's rich and indulgent. What about you, Alex? I enjoy eating ice cream. It's a perfect treat on a hot day. Do you have any favorite fruits? Yes, my favorite fruit is mango. It's sweet and juicy. What about you, Alex? I really like strawberries. They are so fresh and tasty. Have you ever tried any exotic foods? Yes, I've tried sushi and also some Thai dishes. They have unique flavors. What about you, Alex? I haven't tried any exotic foods yet, but I'm open to new experiences. Do you have any favorite snacks? I love potato chips. They're crunchy and addictive. What about you, Alex? I enjoy having popcorn while watching movies. It's a classic snack. Do you have any favorite vegetables? Yes, I like broccoli. It's healthy and nutritious. What about you, Alex? I like carrots. They are crunchy and good for the eyes. Do you prefer sweet or savory foods? I prefer savory foods. Salty flavors are more appealing to me. What about you, Alex? I enjoy both sweet and savory foods, but if I had to choose, I would say sweet. Do you have any dietary restrictions? No, I don't have any dietary restrictions. How about you, Alex? I don't have any dietary restrictions either. Do you like trying new recipes? Yes, I enjoy experimenting with new recipes. It's fun to discover new flavors. What about you, Alex? I'm not much of a cook, but I like trying out simple recipes. Do you have any favorite spices? 
I really like garlic. It adds a lot of flavor to dishes. What about you, Alex? I like using black pepper in my cooking. It adds a nice kick. Do you have any favorite condiments? I love ketchup. It goes well with so many foods. What about you, Alex? I enjoy using mayonnaise as a condiment. It adds creaminess to sandwiches. Have you ever tried any traditional dishes from other countries? Yes, I've had paella, a traditional Spanish dish. It was delicious. What about you, Alex? I've tried sushi before. It's a traditional Japanese dish. Do you have any favorite cooking techniques? I enjoy grilling food. It gives a nice smoky flavor. What about you, Alex? I like baking food. It's a precise and rewarding technique. Do you have any favorite cooking utensils? I really like using a blender. It makes smoothies and soups quick and easy. What about you, Alex? I enjoy using a whisk. It's great for beating eggs and making sauces. Do you have any favorite food-related traditions? In my family, we always have a big feast on Christmas Day. What about you, Alex? We have a barbecue party every summer with friends and family. It's a fun tradition. Do you have any favorite food-related memories? One of my favorite memories is baking cookies with my grandmother when I was little. What about you, Alex? I remember going to a street food festival with friends and trying different cuisines. It was a memorable experience. Fitness Routines Hey Leah, do you have a fitness routine that you follow? Yes, I try to exercise at least three times a week. How about you? I'm trying to get into a routine as well, but it's been a bit challenging. Any tips? Sure. Start with small goals and gradually increase the intensity. Consistency is key. That makes sense. What types of exercises do you usually do? I enjoy a mix of cardio exercises like running or cycling and strength training with weights. Do you have a particular time of the day when you prefer to exercise? I usually prefer exercising in the morning. It helps me start the day on a positive note. I'll give that a try. How long do you usually spend on your fitness routine? I aim for around 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the day and the exercises I plan to do. Do you ever get bored with your routine? I find it hard to stay motivated sometimes. Yes, it can happen. That's why I mix things up by trying new workouts or joining fitness classes. That sounds like a good idea. Are there any specific workouts or classes you recommend? I love trying out different HIIT workouts and yoga classes. They keep me motivated and challenged. I've heard about HIIT workouts but never tried them. Are they effective? Definitely. HIIT workouts are great for burning calories and improving overall fitness levels. I'll give it a go then. Any other tips for staying motivated and consistent? Find a workout buddy or join a fitness community. It helps keep you accountable and motivated. That's a good suggestion. I'll see if any of my friends are interested in joining me. Thanks. You're welcome. Having a workout buddy can make exercising more fun too. Good luck! Do you have any recommendations for balancing cardio and strength training? It's best to have a good balance of both. Cardio helps with cardiovascular health while strength training builds muscle. Hmm, I'll make sure to incorporate both into my routine. Anything else I should keep in mind? Remember to listen to your body and give it proper rest and recovery time. Don't overdo it. That's important to remember. How do you stay motivated when you're feeling tired or lazy? I remind myself of my fitness goals and the benefits of regular exercise. 
It usually helps me get back on track. It sounds like mental motivation is just as important as physical fitness. I'll keep that in mind. Absolutely. A positive mindset goes a long way in maintaining a fitness routine. You can do it. Thanks for the encouragement, Leah. I appreciate it. I'm feeling more motivated already. You're welcome, Alex. I'm glad I could help. Remember, I'm always here to support you. I won't forget that. Having a supportive friend like you makes a difference. Thank you. You're welcome, Alex. Friends help each other out. Let's keep pushing each other towards our fitness goals. Definitely, Leah. Together, we'll achieve our fitness goals and have a healthier lifestyle. Let's do this. Absolutely, Alex. We've got this. Here's to a stronger, fitter version of ourselves. Cheers. Cheers. To a healthier and happier us. Thanks again, Leah. You're the best. No problem, Alex. We're in this together. Let's make fitness a lifelong journey. Cheers! Fitness Motivation Hey Leah, have you ever tried any fitness workouts? No, I haven't. But I've been thinking about starting. Any tips? Sure. One tip is to set realistic goals for yourself. That makes sense. What kind of goals do you recommend? Start with small goals like exercising for 30 minutes three times a week. Okay, I'll give that a try. What else should I keep in mind? Make sure to find activities you enjoy, like dancing or swimming. That sounds fun. How do you stay motivated to exercise regularly? I find it helpful to have a workout buddy or join group classes. Great idea. Maybe we can exercise together sometimes. Absolutely. It's always more fun to work out with a friend. Do you have any recommendations for staying motivated on days when I don't feel like exercising? Start by reminding yourself of the benefits and how good you'll feel afterward. I'll keep that in mind. What if I don't have much time for workouts? Even short workout sessions can be effective. Try doing high-intensity interval training. I'll give it a try. Is there anything I should do before starting a workout? It's important to warm up your body with some stretching or light cardio. Got it. And what about after a workout? Cool down with some gentle stretching and make sure to hydrate properly. That's good to know. How long does it usually take to see results? It varies from person to person, but consistency is key. You should start feeling better in a few weeks. I'll stay committed then. What are some common mistakes to avoid? One common mistake is pushing yourself too hard and risking injury. Listen to your body. Thanks for the advice. Are there any specific resources or apps you recommend for tracking progress? Fitness apps like MyFitnessPal or Fitbit are popular and can help you track your workouts and goals. I'll check them out. Is it okay to start exercising if I have any health issues? It's always best to consult with a doctor or healthcare professional before starting any new fitness routine. Alright, I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for all the guidance, Alex. You're welcome, Leah. I'm excited to see you embark on this fitness journey. I'm excited too. Let's support each other along the way. Definitely, we'll be each other's biggest cheerleaders. I'm glad to have you as a supportive friend. Let's get started. Yes, let's do this. I believe in you, Leah. Thank you, Alex. Let's crush those fitness goals together. Fitness goals What are your fitness goals? 
I want to lose weight and get in shape. That's great. How do you plan on achieving your goals? I'm planning to start running regularly and eating healthier. Running is a fantastic way to improve your fitness. Have you considered setting a specific distance or time goal? Yes, I want to be able to run for 30 minutes without stopping. That's a realistic and achievable goal. Have you thought about incorporating any other exercises into your routine? I'm also planning to do some strength training to tone my muscles. That's a great idea. Strength training will help you build strength and increase your metabolism. Do you have any previous experience with it? Not really, but I'm willing to learn. No worries, I can show you some basic exercises to get started. That would be really helpful, thank you. You're welcome. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to achieving fitness goals. I understand. I'm determined to stay consistent and make fitness a part of my lifestyle. That's the right attitude. It will not only improve your physical health but also boost your mental well-being. I'm excited to start this fitness journey and see positive changes in my body and mind. I believe in you, Leah. You're capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Thank you for your support, Alex. No problem. We're friends, and we're here to support each other. Do you have any specific timeline for achieving your goals? I'm giving myself three months to see noticeable progress. That's reasonable. Remember to track your progress and celebrate each milestone along the way. Absolutely. It will keep me motivated throughout the process. I'm excited to see your transformation, Leah. Let's conquer our fitness goals together. Definitely, Alex. We'll motivate and support each other on this journey. I couldn't ask for a better workout buddy. Let's make it happen. Agreed. Let the fitness journey begin. Good luck, Leah. You've got this. Thanks, Alex. I'll give it my all. I have all the faith in you. Stay positive and determined. I will, Alex. Thanks again for your encouragement. Anytime, Leah. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help or advice. I won't. Your support means a lot to me. Keep pushing forward, Leah. I know you'll achieve your fitness goals. Thanks for believing in me, Alex. I won't let you down. First day of school. Are you excited for the first day of school? Yes, I can't wait to see all my friends again. Me too. I wonder who our new teacher will be. I hope they're nice and fun. Yeah, a good teacher makes a big difference. What subjects are you looking forward to? I really enjoy math and science. Oh, I'm more interested in art and music. That's cool. We can still study together. Definitely. We can help each other in different subjects. Do you have any goals for this school year? I want to improve my English and join the school choir. I want to try out for the basketball team. That sounds exciting. I'll come cheer for you. Thanks, Leah. I appreciate the support. No problem, that's what friends are for. I'm a little nervous about starting a new grade. Don't worry, we'll adapt quickly, just like always. You're right. We've done this before. Exactly. We've got this. I hope we have some fun field trips this year. Yeah, those are always the best days. Remember when we went to the museum last year? Of course, that was so much fun. I hope we get to go somewhere just as interesting. Fingers crossed. Hey Leah, what time does school start tomorrow? I think it's at 8.30 a.m., same as last year. 
Good, I want to be there early to find our classrooms. Great idea. We can avoid the last minute rush. I'm going to pack my backpack tonight. Smart move, I'll do the same. I can't believe summer break is over already. Time flies, doesn't it? It sure does. But I'm glad to see you again, Leah. Me too, Alex. We'll have a great school year together. Festivals and Celebrations Do you celebrate any festivals? Yes, I love celebrating festivals. Which festival is your favorite? I really enjoy Christmas. How do you celebrate it? We decorate a Christmas tree and exchange gifts. Sounds fun. Do you have any special traditions? Yes, we always sing carols and have a big feast. That's wonderful. Are there any other festivals you celebrate? Yes, we also celebrate New Year's Eve. How do you celebrate that? We have a big party with fireworks and countdown to midnight. Sounds exciting. Are there any festivals you celebrate at different times of the year? Yes, we celebrate Easter in the spring. What do you do during Easter? We decorate eggs and have an Easter egg hunt. That sounds like a lot of fun. It definitely is. Do you celebrate any festivals? Yes, I celebrate Halloween. What do you do for Halloween? I dress up in a costume and go trick-or-treating for candy. That sounds like a great time. It is. Are there any other festivals you celebrate? We also celebrate birthdays. That's not really a festival, but it's definitely worth celebrating. I agree. It's a special day for everyone. Do you have any favorite birthday traditions? We always sing happy birthday and blow out candles on a cake. That sounds like a lovely tradition. Thank you. Are there any other festivals you celebrate? We also celebrate Thanksgiving. What do you do for Thanksgiving? We gather with family and friends and eat a big turkey dinner. That sounds delicious. It definitely is. I enjoy all the festive foods. I love celebrating festivals and all the joy they bring. Me too, it's always great to have something special to look forward to. I couldn't agree more. Festivals bring people together and create beautiful memories. That's so true. I'm glad we have shared festivals to celebrate as friends. Feelings Hi Leah, how are you feeling today? Hey Alex. I'm feeling great, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm feeling a bit tired today. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh no, that's not good. Maybe you should try taking a nap later. That's a good idea, Leah. I'll definitely try to take a nap. I hope it helps you feel better, Alex. Thank you, Leah. I really appreciate your concern. No problem, Alex. Friends always support each other. You're right, Leah. It's great to have someone like you as a friend. I feel the same way, Alex. It's always nice to chat with you. Absolutely, Leah. Your positivity always puts me in a good mood. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. We should try to stay positive together. Definitely, Leah. Positivity is contagious, after all. Exactly, Alex. Let's spread good vibes to everyone we meet. I couldn't agree more, Leah. It's important to have a positive mindset. Sometimes it can be hard to stay positive, but we can do it together. You're right, Leah. We just need to support each other through tough times. Absolutely, Alex. We're stronger when we lift each other up. I'm really grateful to have you as a friend, Leah. 
The feeling is mutual, Alex. Friends make life so much better. Indeed, Leah. Friends bring joy and comfort into our lives. I'm feeling incredibly lucky to have you in my life, Alex. That means a lot to me, Leah. You're a true friend. I will always be here for you, Alex. Through thick and thin. And I'll always be here for you too, Leah. Friends forever. That's a promise, Alex. Friends forever and always. I'm glad we had this conversation, Leah. It lifted my spirits. I feel the same way, Alex. Our conversations always brighten my day. Let's continue supporting each other and spreading positivity, Leah. Absolutely, Alex. Together, we can make a difference in the world. Thank you, Leah. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. Favorite Quotes What's your favorite quote? I really like the quote, Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. That's a great quote by Oscar Wilde. Another quote I love is, The only way to do great work is to love what you do. Yes, that quote by Steve Jobs is quite inspiring. I also like In the Middle of Difficulty Lies Opportunity by Albert Einstein. Those are both wonderful quotes. Another one that resonates with me is Believe You Can and You're Halfway There by Theodore Roosevelt. I agree, it's important to have self-belief. Another quote that motivates me is The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams by Eleanor Roosevelt. That's a powerful quote. Another one that always inspires me is, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. I love that quote. It reminds us to persevere. Another quote I find intriguing is life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it by Charles R. Swindle. Absolutely. Our reactions shape our experiences. Another quote I find meaningful is, The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, by Nelson Mandela. That quote reminds us to embrace resilience. Another quote that I find thought-provoking is, The only way to do great work is to love what you do, by Steve Jobs. I couldn't agree more, Leah. Loving what we do is essential for success. Another quote that speaks to me is, Change your thoughts and you change your world, by Norman Vincent Peale. That's a powerful quote. It's a reminder of the power of positive thinking. Another quote that I find inspiring is, Don't watch the clock, do what it does. Keep going by Sam Levinson. I love that quote. It encourages us to keep pushing forward. Another one I really like is, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today, by Franklin D. Roosevelt. That's so true, Alex. Doubts can hold us back. Another quote that resonates with me is, Life is short, and it's up to you to make it sweet, by Sarah Louise Delaney. That's a beautiful quote, Leah. It reminds us to cherish every moment. Another quote I find inspiring is, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success by Albert Schweitzer. Absolutely, happiness is important in all aspects of life. Another quote that speaks to me is, the best way to predict the future is to create it by Peter Drucker. I love that quote. It empowers us to take control of our lives. Another quote that I find insightful is, The secret to getting ahead is getting started, by Mark Twain. That's so true, taking that first step is crucial. Another quote that I find motivating is, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today, by Franklin D. Roosevelt. I believe in the power of overcoming doubts. Another quote that inspires me is, The biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that's changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is not taking risks by Mark Zuckerberg. That's a quote that encourages us to step out of our comfort zones. 
Another quote that resonates with me is the only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself by Jordan Belfort. That's a powerful truth, Leah. Our mindset plays a huge role in our success. Another quote that I find motivating is, believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle, by Christian D. Larson. Absolutely, self-belief is crucial. Another quote that inspires me is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take by Wayne Gretzky. That quote reminds us to take chances. Another quote that I find intriguing is, success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it, by Henry David Thoreau. That's an interesting perspective on success. Another quote that resonates with me is no matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up by Regina Brett. That's a quote that emphasizes resilience. Another one that I find thought-provoking is, The Best Revenge is Massive Success by Frank Sinatra. That's an interesting perspective on success. Another quote that motivates me is, Don't count the days, make the days count by Muhammad Ali. That quote reminds us to make the most out of every day. Another one I really like is, The Harder the Conflict, The Greater the Triumph, by George Washington. Yes, challenges often lead to personal growth. Another quote that inspires me is success is not in what you have, but who you are by Bo Bennett. That's a beautiful quote, Leah. It's important to focus on personal growth. Another quote I find meaningful is, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years by Abraham Lincoln. Absolutely, quality moments matter. Another quote that speaks to me is success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success by Albert Schweitzer. I agree, happiness is the foundation of success. Another quote that I find inspiring is, Life is short, and it's up to you to make it sweet, by Sarah Louise Delaney. Favorite desserts What is your favorite dessert? I love chocolate cake. That sounds delicious. Do you like any other desserts? Yes, I also enjoy apple pie. I've never tried apple pie before. Is it sweet? Yes, it's sweet and full of flavor. I'll definitely have to give it a try. What about ice cream? Oh, I adore ice cream. It's so creamy and refreshing. I agree, ice cream is a great choice. Do you have a favorite flavor? I love vanilla, but chocolate and strawberry are also yummy. I'm a fan of chocolate, especially dark chocolate. Have you tried it? Yes, dark chocolate is divine. It's rich and slightly bitter. That's exactly why I like it too. How about cookies? Do you have a favorite? I enjoy chocolate chip cookies. They're chewy and irresistible. I'm a fan of oatmeal cookies. The texture is amazing. Are there any other desserts you enjoy? Yes, I also like cheesecake. It's creamy and melts in your mouth. Cheesecake is delicious. Do you have a preferred topping? I love strawberry topping on my cheesecake. It adds a tangy sweetness. That combo sounds perfect. Have you ever tried fruit tarts? Yes, I have. Fruit tarts are colorful and refreshing. Do you have a preferred fruit for the tart? I enjoy a mix of berries on my fruit tart. That must be delicious. How about brownies? Do you like them? Absolutely. I can never resist a gooey chocolate brownie. I agree, brownies are hard to resist. Do you like them with nuts or without? I love them with walnuts. The crunch adds a great texture. I'm more of a fan of plain brownies, but I can see why you like the nuts. Are there any other desserts you enjoy? I'm also a fan of lemon bars. They're tangy and refreshing. Lemon bars sound interesting. I'll have to try them sometime. 
What about donuts? Donuts are delicious, especially glazed ones. Glazed donuts are a classic. Do you have a preference for filled donuts? Yes, I enjoy cream filled donuts. They're so indulgent. Cream filled donuts are heavenly. I'm getting hungry just talking about desserts. Any other favorites? Yes, I love bread pudding. It's warm and comforting. Bread pudding sounds lovely, especially during colder months. Do you have a favorite sauce or topping for it? I enjoy caramel sauce on my bread pudding. It adds a sweet touch. Caramel sauce sounds perfect for bread pudding. Do you have any other desserts you enjoy? I also like Ciara Mi Bra La Copyright E. It has a creamy custard base with a caramelized sugar topping. Ciara Mi Bra La Copyright E is a classic dessert. I've always wanted to try it. Any other favorites? One more favorite of mine is tiramisu. It's a coffee flavored dessert with layers of creamy goodness. Tiramisu is a delicious choice. I enjoy the coffee flavor. Do you have any other desserts you like? That's all for now, these are my top favorites. How about you? What's your favorite dessert? Favorite board games. Hey Leah. Do you like playing board games? Yes, I love playing board games. What about you? I enjoy them too. What is your favorite board game? My favorite board game is Scrabble. I love playing with words. What about you, Alex? I really enjoy playing Monopoly. It's a classic game of buying and selling properties. Oh. I've played Monopoly before. It's fun but can take quite a long time to finish a game. Any other favorites for you? I also like playing chess. It's a game of strategy and requires thinking ahead. Chess is a great game too. It really challenges your mind. Have you played any modern board games? Yes, I've played Settlers of Caden. It's a game of resource management and building settlements. I've heard of Settlers of Caton, but I haven't played it yet. Maybe we should try it together sometime. Sure, that sounds like a plan. What other board games have you played? I've played Clue. It's a mystery solving game where players have to find out who committed a crime. Clue is a classic game. I used to enjoy it a lot as a kid. Any other board games you recommend? I would recommend Ticket to Ride. It's a game about building railroads across different countries. Ticket to Ride sounds interesting. I'll definitely check it out. Anything else? Have you played Pandemic? It's a cooperative game where players have to work together to stop the spread of diseases. No, I haven't played Pandemic yet. It sounds like a unique concept. I'll add it to my list. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome, Alex. I'm always happy to share my favorite board games. Let me know if you want to play any of them together. I'll definitely take you up on that offer, Leah. It would be fun to have a board game night with friends. That sounds like a great idea. We can invite others and have a blast playing different games. Absolutely. Board games are a fantastic way to have fun and spend quality time with friends. I couldn't agree more, Alex. It's always a memorable experience. Do you have any other favorite hobbies? Apart from board games, I enjoy reading books and playing sports. What about you, Leah? I love painting and hiking. It's a great way to relax and connect with nature. That sounds wonderful, Leah. We should explore new hobbies together sometime. Definitely, Alex. It would be great to try out new activities and have fun together. I'm looking forward to it, Leah. Let's plan our next board game night soon. 
Absolutely, Alex. I'll get some new games too. It'll be a blast. Sounds like a plan, Leah. See you soon. See you, Alex. Take care. Favorite apps. So Leah, what are your favorite apps? I really enjoy using Instagram and Snapchat. Oh, those are great social media apps. How about any others? I also like using Spotify for listening to music. Nice, music apps are always a hit. Any gaming apps you like? I'm not a big gamer, but I sometimes play Candy Crush. Ah uh, yes, that's a classic. How about productivity apps? I find Evernote and Trello really helpful for staying organized. Great choices. Do you use any language learning apps? Yes, I use Duolingo to practice French. That's awesome. I use it too but for Spanish. Any health and fitness apps? I use MyFitnessPal to track my meals and workouts. That's smart. Any apps for photography or editing? I like VSCO and Snapseed for editing my photos. Excellent choices. How about travel apps? I use Airbnb and Google Maps when I travel. Those are must-haves for any traveler. Any finance apps you find helpful? I use Mint to manage my budget and expenses. Great choice. Any weather apps to keep up with the forecast? I use the Weather Channel app to know what's coming. That's handy. Any news apps to stay informed? I like to use BBC News and CNN. Those are reliable sources. Any cooking or recipe apps? I use Tasty for easy and delicious recipes. Yum, I'll have to check it out. Any apps for fashion and shopping? I use ASOS and Amazon for clothing and accessories. Nice, both are popular choices. How about any meditation or mindfulness apps? I use Headspace for guided meditation. That's a great app for relaxation. Any apps for learning new skills? I use Skillshare and Udemy for online courses. Those are excellent platforms. Any apps for socializing with friends? I use Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp to stay connected. Very common choices. Any apps for productivity on the go? I use Microsoft Office and Google Drive for work on my phone. Those apps are essential. Any travel booking apps? I use Expedia and Booking.com for finding and booking flights and hotels. Perfect, those are reliable platforms. Any transportation apps you use? I use Uber and Lyft for convenient rides around the city. Very convenient indeed. Any apps for language translation? I use Google Translate when I need quick translations. That's a helpful tool. Any apps for fitness tracking? I use Fitbit to monitor my steps and workouts. Great for staying active. Any apps for entertainment like movies and TV shows? I use Netflix and Hulu for streaming my favorite shows. Good choices for entertainment. And lastly, any apps for personal finance management? I use Acorns and Robinhood to invest and manage my finances. Those are popular apps for financial planning. Thanks for sharing, Leah. Favorite animals Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a cat. Oh, what's your cat's name? Her name is Luna. That's a lovely name. Cats are great pets. Thank you. What about you? Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets right now. Would you like to have one? Yes, I would love to have a dog someday. Dogs can be really loyal companions. I agree. What's your favorite animal besides cats? I really like dolphins. Dolphins are amazing. 
They're so intelligent. Yes, they are. What's your favorite animal? I really like elephants. Elephants are fascinating creatures. Definitely. They're very smart too. Do you have a favorite zoo animal? I think lions are really impressive. Yes, they're known as the kings of the jungle. That's true. What about you? Any favorite zoo animal? I really like giraffes. Giraffes are so tall and elegant. Indeed, they have such long necks. Do you have a favorite animal sound? I think birds chirping sound beautiful. I agree, it's so pleasant to hear in the morning. What's your favorite animal color? I love the vibrant colors of parrots. Yes, their feathers are truly stunning. Do you have a favorite animal in movies or books? I love Nemo from the movie Finding Nemo. Nemo is such a cute little fish. Indeed, the movie is very heartwarming. What's your favorite animal in mythology? I find unicorns fascinating and magical. Unicorns are believed to be mythical creatures. Yes, they symbolize purity and grace. Fashion and Clothing Hey Leah, have you been shopping recently? Yes, I actually bought a beautiful dress last weekend. That sounds lovely. Where did you find it? I found it at a trendy boutique downtown. Did you get any other clothing items? Yes, I also bought a pair of stylish shoes to match. Oh, I'm in need of new shoes. Any recommendations? There's a great shoe store at the mall. You should check it out. Thanks, I'll make sure to visit it soon. By the way, have you seen the latest fashion trends? No, I haven't been keeping up with them. What's popular right now? Animal prints and neon colors are really in this season. Interesting, I'll have to give them a try. Definitely. It's a fun way to experiment with your style. Have you ever bought clothes online? Yes, I do it quite often. It's convenient and offers more variety. I'm a bit hesitant. How do you ensure the right fit? Most websites provide detailed size guides to help you choose correctly. I'll give it a shot then. Any website recommendations? I like to shop on a popular fashion site called Fashionista. I'll check it out. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. Let me know if you find anything you like. Sure, I'll keep you updated. Do you have any fashion icons or favorite designers? Not particularly, I usually just dress for comfort. That's totally fine too. Comfort is important. What's your go-to outfit for a casual day out? I love wearing a pair of jeans with a simple t-shirt. Sounds comfortable yet stylish. Exactly. Accessories can also elevate a casual outfit. Any accessory suggestions for a beginner like me? Start with a nice watch or a statement necklace. I'll keep that in mind. Fashion is all about expressing yourself, so have fun with it. Thanks for the advice, Leah. You're always so fashionable. Ah, thank you. You're too kind. All right, I better get going. Talk to you later. Take care, Alex. See you soon. Fantasy Worlds Hey Leah. Have you ever imagined being in a fantasy world? Yes, I have. It sounds so exciting and magical, don't you think? Definitely. I would love to explore new lands and encounter mythical creatures. Me too. I'd love to meet unicorns and dragons. Imagine flying on the back of a dragon, soaring through the clouds. That would be incredible. And what if we could cast spells like wizards? 
Oh, the adventures we could have with our magical powers. Absolutely. We could defeat evil sorcerers and save the fantasy world. And maybe we could find hidden treasure in ancient dungeons. That would be so thrilling. I can already picture us uncovering mystical artifacts. Let's not forget about the enchanted forests, filled with talking animals. Yes, like in the fairy tales. I would love to have conversations with wise owls. And maybe even befriend mischievous fairies in the shimmering meadows. That sounds enchanting. I can't wait to explore these magical places. Me neither. We could go on endless quests and fulfill our hero's destiny. We would become legendary figures in the fantasy world. Indeed. People would tell stories of our bravery and epic adventures. I'm excited just thinking about it. Let's create our own fantasy world. Absolutely. We can use our imagination to build an extraordinary realm. And who knows, maybe one day our dreams will become a reality. That would be truly amazing. We could live in our own fantasy world. Until then, let's keep dreaming and exploring through the power of our minds. Definitely. Our imagination knows no bounds in the realm of fantasy. I'm grateful to have you as a friend to share these fantastic journeys with. Likewise, Leah. Together, we can conquer any challenge that comes our way. Here's to our friendship and the magical adventures that await us. Cheers to that, Leah. May our fantasy world thrive and never cease to inspire us. Famous Quotes Do or do not, there is no try. I like that quote. It means you have to commit fully to something. Exactly. It's important to give your best effort in everything you do. I agree. Hard work and dedication are key to success. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. That's a powerful quote. It reminds us to pursue our passions. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. That quote teaches us to look for silver linings even during tough times. Believe you can and you're halfway there. It's all about having a positive mindset and believing in yourself. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. That quote inspires us to learn from our failures and keep going. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. That's a reminder to embrace our individuality and not try to be someone else. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dream big and work hard to turn those dreams into reality. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. That quote reminds us that setbacks don't define us, it's how we bounce back. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That quote encourages us to take risks and seize opportunities. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. We should believe in our potential and not let self-doubt hold us back. I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. That quote teaches us to adapt and find solutions even when things don't go as planned. Don't watch the clock, do what it does. Keep going. Time management is important, but staying focused on our goals is crucial. The best way to predict the future is to create it. We have the power to shape our own destiny through our actions. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. Instead of chasing success for personal gain, let's focus on making a positive impact. The past cannot be changed, but the future is yet in your power. We should learn from the past, but not let it define our future. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Sometimes we have to let go of comfort and embrace challenges for personal growth. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Progress is crucial, no matter how small the steps may be. Success is not the key to happiness. 
Happiness is the key to success. Prioritizing our happiness and well-being is essential for a fulfilling life. The only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. Focus on personal growth and continuous improvement rather than comparing to others. The best revenge is massive success. That quote reminds us that success is the ultimate response to adversity. Don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind. Be led by the dreams in your heart. Let your dreams guide you and overcome any self-doubt or fear. The harder you work for something, the greater you'll feel when you achieve it. The sense of accomplishment is sweeter when we put in effort and overcome challenges. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. We should live our lives authentically, true to ourselves and our passions. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. That quote empowers us to have confidence in our abilities to overcome any challenges. Thank you.